Let's talk about graphs. Graphs are one of the most important topics in physics because one in five questions that you will encounter in physics will be somehow based on graphs. Either you will be converting an equation into a graph or using the graph to find some data and so on. So let us understand what graphs are and we start with the definition of a graph. So what is a graph? The graph is simply a drawing, yes, but not like a drawing of a heart or, a, or Mickey Mouse, but graph is a drawing that shows the relationship between two quantities. There are two types of quantities, one that is constant and the other whose value changes and we call it a variable. For example, time is a variable, position is a variable etc velocity is a variable but 4 is a constant 3 is a constant and so on so now these variables uh, like position and time we denote them by using letters from the alphabet such as x y z etc and these variables are also of two types one is independent variable because its value depends on nothing else and other is dependent variable and what happens is that the dependent variable changes its value with respect to the independent variable okay so we have two kinds of variables a dependent variable and an independent variable and they have a relationship and it is represented by an equation that means we will have an equal to sign and on the right hand side we will have some function of the independent variable independent variable function and on the left hand side generally we have the dependent variable for example I can write y equals to x. What this means is x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. I will use the symbols i and d for them. x is equal to 2t plus 4. What that means is t is the independent variable and obviously x is the dependent variable. Now this is a general rule, it is not a hard and fast rule that you write the dependent variable on the left and the independent variable on the right, it is just a general rule. So now what you have is an equation where you relate the independent and the dependent variables and when we show this equation in the form of a drawing, when this equation is represented as a drawing, we call it a graph. That is, a graph shows the relationship between independent and dependent variables. Let us look at some common types of graphs that we encounter in physics. So, we have okay, types of graphs. First will be a line and by line I mean a straight line. We will also see some circles then we can see parabolas if you do not know what these are uh, don't panic because i will explain them one by one then we see ellipse and finally there are hyperbolas all of these are basic simple graphs and luckily most of the graphs that we draw in physics are of simple nature and so, we won't have too much of a difficulty if we master all of these. There is also the graph of sin theta and cos theta that comes in physics, but we will take a look at them later.